So it's Rod from VMN here again, the home of the VMN plasma cutter. And I just wanted to do a follow-up um, video of a couple more features of um, Plasmac in relation to error recovery. So QT Plasmac we're using. So I've set the same file up here again and I've put it in the center of the machine. So what we need to do is just enable this enable the torch and um, and we might as well start cutting it and I'm going to pause it and we'll have a look at some of the error recovery features so um, let's see how we go So I've paused this mid-cut and um, sometimes uh, if there is a fault um, and it could be because you get low air pressure and I've had the um, compressor breaker trip out <coughs> or I've had a faulty earth or, or the um, plasma cut is even overheated and plasma will just pause and allow you to recover. So if I hit cycle start again, this will start. But say the reason why we've decided to pause it here is we want to um, change the tip. Now that's going to be a bit inconvenient when it's in the middle of the table like that. So what we've got over here is a button that says change tip. And that just moves it straight over to a defined position that you have control over. So it's really easy to get to that. So um, we just press change tip again, you can see it's highlighted now, we press change tip again and I'll just put it back where it was to resume the cut. Now, um, the other thing that we can do, um, and I've never tried this so we're going to try it, um, is that there's a cut recovery section here and we might choose um, here, the 1.5 is 1.5 millimeters being the curve width of this material. So I might want to move the torch off the um, off the curve by um, two millimeters. Um, not sure whether you can see that move there, but it's moving. So what should happen now is when we resume. Plasmac should pierce off the sheet, off, off the cut line, and continue with the job. And you can see there that it pierced off the sheet. I've paused it again as well. Um, I'll just run a little bit further. So I've paused it again here and the other thing that we can do is um, splitting CNC now supports a thing called the burst run. So the other thing that we can do is physically run the torch backwards um, to get back to a spot if you need to. Then we can move it off again. I've moved it to 3mm, that should be enough, and we'll see what happens. So it'll pierce. And you can see there that we actually move, when we stop, we're right up here somewhere, and then we move back here. To restart the job, so um, that's just some of the features that we have. That I'm not sure that any or or any other um, um, plasma controllers have. So I just um, thought that these are the real features that are time-saving, and I may not have shown you the other one as well. Um, 
if you're on a water table, sometimes before you run a, um, a job, you'll want to get the pre-flow flowing before you start the job to keep water out of the torch so you don't get problems with omic sensing. So one of the things that we have is an omic test and all this does is if the omic light turns up, turns on when we hit omic test, then we know there's a short in the torch tip. Um, I've only ever had it happen to me once and it was physically a bit of rubbish it got in there. So, um, so that's a physical test. Um, if that lit up, we know that we've got a short inside the torch. So we can do that to make sure we're good to go. And then the other thing we can do is, um, is we can pulse the torch. Um, down here we have a pulse torch button. If the torch is enabled, we just need to press that. And then you can see then that that's commenced the pre-flow as you would expect it to be. So now we can start our job. And that way also we have much cleaner starts and particularly if you're using small, small material. Uh, this is evaporated quite a lot here, but um, normally I would cut with this right up here somewhere. So by, from evaporation, we don't really have a splashing problem today, but there's quite a splash as you can appreciate on a, on a um, water table. So there you go, guys. That's the um, QT Plasmax cut recovery feature. So um, just one more feature that we think makes QT Plasmax and Linux CNC by far and away the best plasma controller out there. Yes, it's gonna take a bit of time to get it established, you only have to configure a machine once, but these benefits that we've shown you here now, you're going to be able to use from this point on. It might actually just be worth, now that's cut, to um, frame the job again. We did that in the previous video. So let's frame the job, and you can see that it's running right round that job. So it was spot on when it framed it the other day. So. I knew this would fit because I framed it before we'd done this job. So there you go guys, enjoy.